Now, yesterday I did a short little video on B propolis, and many of you are asking more questions about it because, well, I did say it's one of the most powerful immune enhancers we can take every single day. Well, in this uh, segment of the Classroom Edition, I'm going to talk about B propolis for childhood ear infections, sore throats in children and adults, tumor growth, more about the antibacterial, antiviral effects, and exactly which brand to buy, because guess what? They're not all equal, and to tell you the truth, 95% of the B propolis on the market, well, is worthless. So, let's talk about B propolis. It's one of the best natural medicines, and it's processed by nature herself. Well, the first step in propolis comes from bees. They gather flavonoid and polyphenol-rich material from plants and trees near their hives. They then modify it with their own enzymes as they process the material into a protective antibacterial glue and sealant. It's so protective, in fact, that the very word propolis means defender of the city in Greek. Now, in ancient times, propolis was used medicinally. Now, it continues to be intensively studied and recommended today for very good reason. So let's talk about those childhood ear infections and sore throats. So if you're a parent, one of your children has most likely had an ear infection. In fact, ear infections are the number one reason that parents bring their kids to the doctor. Now, that's not surprising since five out of six children have had at least one ear infection by the time they're three years old. Now, ear infections can be very serious and reoccurring ear infections aren't rare. Fortunately, propolis may provide worried parents with an answer. Clinical studies show that propolis can reduce the duration and the severity of ear infections and prevent them from becoming or developing into added complications like sore throat or reoccurring viral upper respiratory tract infections. Propolis may help reduce the need for antibiotics, although it can be used along with them because it stops ear infections from, be, from coming back. So let me say that again. B propolis helps to stop ear infections from coming back. And I think one of the best aspects of propolis is that it has been shown to be safe and effective for children, get this, from six months old to 18 years old. Now, of course, propolis is an excellent choice for treating upper respiratory tract conditions whether or not they are the result of an ear infection. Now, for children and adults alike, propolis activates the immune system naturally, and it activates macrophages, the T helper cells, and other natural defenders to protect against bacteria and viruses. And it does all of this without the risk of serious side effects that can come from synthetic drugs that only treat symptoms. So let's talk about, well, those superbugs that are so hard to beat with antibiotics. See, the overprescription of antibiotics has led to dangerous bacterial resistance, creating a class of superbugs that pharmaceutical antibiotics can't stop. This includes methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, known as MRSA, which is especially troublesome following surgery or anytime you're in the hospital or for, for those with an immune system that is weakened. Fortunately, propolis can stop it. So a study at the University of Heidelberg tested a propolis extract against a variety of disease-causing bacteria, including MRSA, Candida albicans, and Streptococcus pyrogenes. Now, within six hours, propolis stopped the activity of the Streptococcus pyrogenes, the cause of strep throat and the hard-to-stop skin infections. The study also found that propolis had a high degree of antibacterial activity against all tested MRSA strains and inhibited candida as well. Now, other studies have found similar results. British research also discovered that propolis sh uh, actually shows antibacterial activity and other work has shown that the propolis has strong antifungal abilities, reducing the activity of candida albicans and inhibiting that very dangerous MRSA, as well as E. coli bacteria. Now, there was laboratory work in Europe found that propolis is a strong inhibitor of many strains of H. pylori bacteria. This is known for causing ulcers and gastric cancer. 
In fact, the Natural Institutes of Health report that H. pylori is the leading cause of peptic ulcers worldwide and that about two-thirds of the world population are infected with the bacteria. But what about its strong antiviral effects? Well, aside from reducing the severity of viral sore throats and inhibiting other viral activity, including the avian flu, propolis fights other viruses as well. Research at the University of Heidelberg pitted a propolis extract against herpes simplex virus 1, and listen to this, and found that it reduced the formation of viral plaques, the areas of cell destruction, by 98%. Interestingly, the researchers stated that while only two of the analyzed compounds in propolis, the galogen and the chrysin, showed antibacterial uh, activity separately, but the overall effect was stronger when other compounds of propolis were included. But let's talk about that tumor growth. See, propolis is more than an antibacterial and antiviral. It has been shown to stop tumor growth. Scientists reporting in the Journal of Evidence-Based Complementary and Alternative Medicine demonstrated that the polyphenols in propolis were mainly responsible for cancer cell inhibition and consider it a possible treatment option for different types of leukemia. Now that's not surprising because propolis works at a cellular level, preserving the replication of healthy cells while restricting the growth of damaged cells that could later form tumors. So what to look for in a propolis supplement? Now found raw in the hive, propolis is often mixed with wax, which doesn't break down in the body and provide any benefits. Also, there's dirt, there's bees wings, and other debris. So a supplemental form that is a clean powder source of plant flavonoids is definitely the best. Additionally, the best extracts will be from sources with a more controlled environment. That is from hives that are well managed by both bees and humans because they benefit from the exchange. After all, bees need propolis too, so gathering this precious resource must be done with them in mind. Keep that because we don't want to be harming any of the bees. Now, propolis is a very powerful natural medicine. It is safe, it's effective, and truly represents an example of humans and nature working together to create the best result, a strong immune defense and optimal good health. So what we need to look for is making sure we can boost that propolis in that supplement. So much in the same way when people take curcumin, it needs to be combined with the turmeric essential oil to be better absorbed. Forget about all that junk uh, black pepper extract stuff that you see on the market. Anytime you see black pepper extract on the market inside of a supplement, ditch the supplement. That means it's just not that good or not good at all. But propolis can benefit from an extra push when it's matched with something kind of weird called gamma cyclodextrin. See, a plant-based molecule, gamma cyclodextrin, has a strong track record in improving bioavailability. In case of CoQ10, it's shown to boost absorption by as much as 800%. This improvement also means that less propolis is needed to yield strong results. Now, in addition to boosting absorption, gamma cyclodextrin can help neutralize strong flavors so it can be used to formulate chewable tablets instead of taking a capsule or a tablet, which is often preferred, and I should say chewables are often preferred by children and even adults. So, what brand do, you, what brand do I buy? Easy choice, because there's only one. You want to take Terry Naturally's B Propolis, the EP300. It's a chewable tablet. Take it every single day. As I said, children as young as six months old can take this and benefit from it. Could you imagine having a kid that grows up without ever having an ear infection? Or maybe not even a sore throat? How about us adults? You know, in the last couple of years, all we've heard in the news is virus, 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 virus. Make sure your immune system is strong. Again, be propolis. Think about this. The most sterile environment in the world is not a hospital, it's a beehive. Because they use propolis to line that the doorway into the hive so when the bees come in from the outdoors, anything that's uh, harmful to the hive is instantly nullified and killed because of the bee propolis. Think about this. So the queen, 
dies in the hive. What do they do? They wrap her in propolis. Why? Because a decaying body, well, puts off a lot of bad, uh, you know, bad vibes, so to speak. Okay, so we don't want to infect the hive. Let's say an invader, a wasp or yellow jacket, invades the hive. Well, the bees, well, they kill the invader and then wrap it in bee propolis, so that way, if they're carrying any types of disease, it doesn't harm the hive. So what about the human body? Wouldn't it be awesome to have something that we can take every single day to prevent us from ever getting a bacterial infection, a viral infection, or a fungal infection, or if you're dealing with any of those three, you can treat it naturally with propolis. And again, Terry Naturally's Propolis Extract, the EP300. It's the only one I use, it's the only one I trust, and it's the only one you should use as well. So hey, you want to know where to get it? Go to terrynaturallyvitamins.com. Also, it's sold at all fine natural health stores across the country. And if you want to learn more and more research about natural health, go to terrytalksnutrition.com. Hey, or visit my website at drwardbond.com and hit the Terry Naturally link. So hey, I hope you enjoyed this classroom edition on B-Propolis because we have more coming your way.